Hello everyone, my name is Roman. I work on Galaxy and I will guide you to learn how to annotate learner coding RNAs with FLNC. In this tutorial, we will look out how to annotate learner coding RNAs from an already annotated genome. How these RNAs are classified according to the location and the direction of transcription of proximal RNA transcripts. Why focus on no coding RNAs? It should be noted that 80% of the variants associated with disease are now located on protein coding genes. Over 60% of the human genome is transcribed into RNA, but only 2% is translated into proteins. It's important for this reason to annotate no coding RNAs in order to improve our understanding of genotype and phenotype. As a reminder, there are different types of RNA with different roles. Some RNAs play a role in protein synthesis, such as messenger RNA or ribosomal RNA. Others regulate the gene expression, modify RNA, and protect the genome. Now that we have briefly seen the different types of no-coding RNA and their roles, we will define what long no-coding RNAs are. Non-long coding RNAs are transcripts that do not code for a protein. It plays various roles in gene regulation, in the modification of other RNAs, and in other essential cellular processes. Its size is over 200 nucleotides, and it has the particularity of being polyadenylated. Statistics from Geno GenCode project show that the human genome contains more than 20,000 long known coding RNA genes, almost as many as protein coding genes. Before we start annotating the long known coding RNA on an annotated genome, we will create a new history and download the data. It's important to name this history. To do this, click on the pencil icon and enter a name for your history. Now we can upload data useful for these tutorials. To do this, we are going to copy and pass the Zenodo links provided in the written tutorials. On the Galaxy page, click on Upload Data. Select Pass Fetch Data. We will start by assembling the transcript using the street time tool. In the search bar, type street time and click on this tool. Street time is a fast and very efficient assembler as RNA-seq alignments into potential transcripts. This tool takes a SAM, BAM, or CRAM file as input. This input must contain alignment of explicit RNA-seq reads. So now we can run Three time to assemble transcripts. Now we can run three time to assemble transcripts. For the parameters, we will select short reads in the input option section. We will select the BAM file as the input file. So now we can run three time to assemble transcripts. For the parameters, we will select short reads in the input option section. We will select the BAM file as the input file. We leave the value on the string in specify strain information. In this tutorial, we are going to use the reference genome. To do this, uh, select use reference GTF GFF3 and use a file from history. So, Switcher has generating a GTF file. This file contains all the assembly transcripts present in the RNA-seq data. You are probably wondering how many transcripts are assembled. To find out, we are going to use software that extracts features from GFF file. In the search bar, type extract GFF and select this tool. As an input file, we are going to use the output of three type. We are going to select the column number three and more specify the transcript. 
So this step will filter only the transcript in this assembly. To find out how many transcripts our assembly contain, I suggest you look out the number of lines on this output. And there are more than 17,000 transcripts. Let's move on to the step of annotating the no coding RNA using FLNC, which is a pipeline made up of three steps. The first step of FLNC filter consists of extracting and filtering undesirable transcripts and transcripts overlapping the exon on the reference annotation. The second step, CodePot for coding potentials, involves calculating the coding potential of the transcripts. This step helps to differentiate long no-coding RNAs from potential coding RNAs. The last st step, classifier, classifies the new long no-coding RNAs according to the location and direction of transcript of the proximal RNA transcript. To use FLNC, we need a reference annotation 5 in GTF format containing protein coding gene. Our annotation 5 is in GFF format, so we are going to use GFF read to convert the GFF format to GTF format. It's very simple. Search for the tool in the search bar. So as input file, we will select the annotated genome is GFF format. Then select the desired format, in this case, GTF. We have everything we need to launch FLNC. Search for FLNC in the search bar. So for transcripts assembly, we will select the output file from street time that corresponds to the assembly transcript. For reference annotation, the output file from GFF read corresponds to the annotated genome. And for genome sequence, the assembly genome is in FASTA format. This step can take up to an hour, so I invite you to take a break or start another tutorial and come back when we it's finished. Now that FLNC is finished, we can look at the output files. The first output file is the low no coding RNA annotation file. This is a GTF format file containing the final set of the low no coding RNA. The file indicates that there are 268 low no coding RNAs. The second file is the messenger RNA annotation file. It can be seen that they are known. The final output file is a table containing the classification of low no coding RNAs according to the genomic location in relation of the others transcripts. The term gening indicates that the low no coding RNAs are found inside protein coding genes. The term intergenic indicates that the low no coding RNA is found between the coding genes. The summary file shows 1,772 interactions between low no coding RNAs and messenger RNA. These interactions are described in the classifier output file. For the future analysis, it should be interesting to use uploaded annotation containing messenger RNA and low no coding RNA. We will merge the reference annotation with the low no coding RNA annotation obtained with FLNC. To do this, we are going to look for the concatenate dataset tool. 
To concatenate a data set, we will select the GFF read output. Then click on Insert data set to add the annotation of the long no coding RNA obtained with FLNC. So in this tutorial, we have seen how to assemble transcript with street time, how to annotate long no coding RNAs with FLNC using RNASEC data, and how to upload the annotation of genome by adding the annotation of annotated long no coding RNAs. So thank you for watching this video and making these tutorials. Have a good day.